Squab is one of those dishes that are usually thought of as being expensive, delicious and reserved for epicures. You can't even buy squab at most meat markets. Many people haven't so much as tasted this mouth-watering treat. And yet, if you decide to have another poultry project in addition to chickens, you'll find squabs to be both interesting and delicious. Also, pigeons are among the easiest kinds of poultry to raise, among the surest of success. They are not really cheap, though, even when you raise your own. They will cost you about half as much to raise as to buy, which means they will cost you about 35 to 50 cents a piece, depending on the price of feed at the time and other factors. Still, when you consider that one squab is about all one person can eat at a sitting, and that they are such a treat, the cost isn't so high at that. Another point to remember is that it is just about as easy to raise twice the number of squab you will want for your own family, as it is to raise barely enough. You can then easily sell the surplus to cover all your costs, or you can swap the surplus with neighbors for things they raise and you don't or you can make presents of squabs to friends. Size of your squab flock First, taking into account the size of your family, decide how many squabs you will probably want in the course of a year. One good pair of breeder pigeons should raise 12 to 14 squabs in the course of one year. They may do this at a more or less even production rate throughout the year, but production will probably be greater in spring and summer than in fall or winter. If you have a quick freezer you can, of course, even out production by freezing when there is a surplus. If you don't have a freezer, then you will probably want to plan to have enough breeders to produce all the squabs you will need even during the poorer months. Figuring in this way it will be found that a loft of 12 pairs of breeders will probably produce an abundance of squabs for your family. Housing Squab For 12 pairs of breeders, the dimensions of the house should be about 6 feet wide and 8 feet deep. It is important that the house should be as rat-proof as possible, and, as in the case of chicken housing, that it be dry, well ventilated and facing south for maximum sunlight. Open or semi-closed front may be used, but, as you would expect, the warmer the house in winter the better. A maximum temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit in winter will tend to increase squab production, but you can get along fine without artificial heat. To raise pigeons for meat, visit the website in the description box below for more guidelines.